everyone! Welcome to Glam Fam Knows How! I'm Olivia, your host for today's episode. I've been super busy working on my project for my school's art fair, so I thought I'd make sculptures with salt dough! Sounds kind of funny, right? <laughs> salt dough is really cool because you can sculpt it, you can paint it, you can glue stuff to it. Basically, you can let your imagination run wild! Speaking of wild, last week, Kim and I went to the zoo, and I was so inspired by all of the colorful animals we saw. There's peacocks and leopards and butterflies. So I thought it'd be fun to create my own animal zoo out of salt dough. Okay, let me hang our photo up for inspiration, and we can get started. Oops, I think I am out of tape. Hmm, I know. I'll make my animal sculptures into magnets. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Okay, let's in. Did you know peacocks are some of the largest flying birds and can live up to 50 years? Also, their feathers have crystal-like structures that act like a kaleidoscope. Why can't leopards play hide and seek? Because they're always spotted! <laughs> some of the animals have tiny magnetic particles in their bodies, which apparently helps them locating food and finding a way back home. That's probably why my dog never asks for directions. <laughs> Zoo la la! These magnets are wild! I can't wait to show them at school. What are some of the fun things you like to sculpt? Thanks for tuning in! And remember, if you want to have the ultimate creative fun, the Glam Fam knows how! See ya! Hello, everyone, or as they say here in Australia, good day. I'm Kira Bailey, and this is the bush. It's what we call the forests and open land in Australia. My great aunt Mamie runs a wildlife sanctuary out here, and I'm helping her out for the summer. It's been the greatest adventure. I decided to start a video journal so I could share my amazing adventures with other kids like me who love camping, being outdoors, and dream of taking care of wild animals. Welcome to Camp Kira. And I'll show you the cute animals we get to take care of every day, like koalas. <laughs> hey, cutie, wanna take a selfie? Out here in the bush, we live in the camp and sleep in these amazing tents. And I meet a new friend here who taught me all about taking care of wild animals. Say hello, Alexis. <laughs> G'day, I'm Alexis, the best mate. You are, OMG. We did butt heads at first. <laughs> we did. But we both love rescuing animals, and that's how we became best mates. So for my first journal entry, we decided to make pebble art inspired by one of our favorite rescues, being the koala bear. Pebbles are great to use to paint on because they're environmentally friendly. And they're everywhere. All right, it's time to go rock hunting. Let's go, girl. Time to find the perfect rock. Round and flat ones are the best canvas. Just make sure it's okay to take the rocks from their home. Look at this one. Oh, spider. <laughs> Next, you'll need to clean your rocks and pat them dry. Grab your favorite paints or paint pens. If you want a background color, go ahead and coat the rocks. You can even drip paint. Time for inspiration. Aunt Mamie taught me 90% of the animals here are only found in Australia, like koalas. They make the perfect model because they sleep up to 22 hours a day. But you can use a picture or your pet. Once your rocks are dried and sealed, you can decorate your desk space or use them as napkin holders. It sure gets windy out here. And if you make a bunch like us, you can always give them away to your friends. This was super fun. What kind of animals do you like to draw? I hope you have as much fun painting pebble art and learning about koalas as we did. Thank you, Alexis, for painting with me today. My pleasure, mate. I will be back soon with more adventures from the wild. This is Kira. And Alexis. Signing off from the bush. Catch you later. Welcome back to Camp Kira. 
Alexis and I just love taking care of the animals here at the sanctuary. And we've gotten pretty good at it. Sometimes we have to do chores like clearing up dry branches or clean up wombat poo. <laughs> Did you know wombat's poo is shaped like a square? <laughs> <laughs> Helping at the sanctuary is one of our favorite things to do. But we also know that to stay healthy and happy, it is important not to forget to take care of ourselves. That's why every Sunday, after we finish our chores, we put on music and do something fun and relaxing. I like to draw. And I like to take pictures. Doing things that help you feel good is called self-care. The animals work hard too. Some of them are recovering from injuries, or are distressed from fires, or... Or dirty from playing around in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy and Boomer, I just gave you two a bath. I think we could all use a self-care day. That's a great idea. Let's make it a self-care Sunday for us and the animals. And you can use some of these tips to give some extra care love to your pet at home. Let's do it. Grab your pet's toys and shampoos and be sure to ask a grown-up to help read any labels and to assist with the bath. Yep, I got the towels. Wombats may look slow, but in reality, they can run up to 25 miles an hour. So those paws need some love. I like to make a homemade paw balm to use on some of the animals. Be sure to listen to your pet and only rub their paws if they like it. Finally, everyone deserves a little treat. I'm making petsicles for those hot days in the bush. Just fill an ice cube tray with pieces of their favorite pet treats. Add water and your pet will be so happy. Be careful and make sure to ask an adult for assistance. <sighs> I'm feeling pampered from head to paw. <laughs> oh, 100% agree. What are the ways you like to show your pets and yourself some extra love? Okay, who wants a petsicle? Thanks for hanging with Alexis, Daisy, Boomer, and me for our self-care Sunday. I will be back with more fun from the wild. Till then, I'm Kira Bailey signing off from the bush. Say guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Flam Fam Knows How. I'm your host for today, Olivia, and joining me is our former host extraordinaire, Piper. So excited to be a guest today. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harper, you have a very special request. Yes, my mom's birthday is coming up and I want to make her something super special that she'll love. That's so sweet. What kind of things does your mom like? She loves gardening. She grows the most beautiful flowers. Roses, lilies, you name it. Hmm, I have some vases left over when I was going through my pottery phase. Oh, we can recycle them and turn them into beautiful art using the water marbling technique. Um, what is water marbling? It's when you float paint on top of another liquid and it creates this cool swirling effect. Let's do it. Okay, you know what we say next. Let's, Let's get, get crafting. crafting. Make sure to protect your work area. Okay, my favorite part is mixing the colors. I'm going to mix red and blue together. I call it sparkly amethyst. Whoa. It's so neat how the paint floats like that. Did you know that vases are some of the oldest artifacts? The Greeks used them as trophies. Yes, and it is also believed that ancient Egyptians were the first to use them for flowers. Also, I learned that in many cultures, vases symbolize motherhood. So it's the perfect gift for Harper's mom. They are so marvelous. <laughs> I can't wait to fill these with my mom's favorite flowers and put them in her room. I'm sure she'll love it. Thanks for tuning in today, and happy birthday to your mom. Remember, if you want to have the ultimate creative fun, the, the Glam, Glam Fam, Fam knows, knows how. how. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Courtney's Corner. It's science fair week at my school, and I thought it'd be totally fun to make my project together with you. I wanted to do something a little different. Something that will really lighten up my room. And I think you're gonna lava it. Can you guess what we're making? <laughs> it's a lava lamp! 
Here's a fun fact I found. Lava lamps were invented in 1948 by Edward Craven Walker. He saw a homemade egg timer bubbling on the stove and the liquids inside reminded him of aliens. Then they became super popular in the 60s after rock stars and musicians started buying them. I personally think that lava lamps will never go out of style. Time to get ready. Grab your apron and safety goggles and let's begin. Ready, Parsley? I highly suggest having your favorite sidekick nearby to join in the fun. Being human is not a requirement, but make sure you always stay safe. Okay, first up, we're gonna need lava from a volcano. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our lava lamp is made with oil and vinegar. Then we'll need a soda bottle, food coloring, and this last ingredient is super important. A ton of glitter! Rad! It's time to get crafting! Be sure to ask a grown-up for help! Lava lamps are pretty cool to look at, but did you know they work based on science? Vinegar and oil don't mix, so when the baking soda heats the oil up, it floats to the top. When the oil reaches the top, it cools and sinks back down. Then repeat! This is my favorite part, the glitter! Time for science and art to combine! Correction! Time for me and art to combine! <laughs> and now for the show! Here we go! In three, two, one! Wow, Parsley, it's so mesmerizing. I could watch this all day. This lava lamp will definitely be a hit at the science fair. I hope you had fun with us today. See you next week. Until then, Parsley and I will enjoy this mesmerizing movement. Turn to host. As 
you can see, the studio is a bit of a creative explosion. <laughs> I've been multitasking all day, working on creating the perfect back-to-school look and trying to decide on the most awesome craft ever for my first day hosting. And, well, so many ideas at once. Things got a little bit wild, and I did not land on either. <laughs> Thankfully, I have a very special guest today who's going to help me style my outfit. Please welcome Vanessa! Thanks for having me. Picking out an outfit that makes me feel confident is my favorite part of going back to school. But Olivia, your look is already so amazing. You don't need any tips from me. <gasps> really? Awesome! Maybe I can help you get organized instead? Being organized really helps me when I study. OMG, I definitely need one of those. <laughs> okay, it's decided. For today's craft, we're going to create our very own personalized desk organizers. Okay, everyone, let's get crafting. Being organized increases your self-confidence and enhances creativity. All it takes is one small step. Did you know the average person spends 12 days a year just looking for their stuff? Whoa, I'd rather be on vacation with the travel twins. <laughs> Did you know that one pencil can draw a line that's 35 miles long? What a cool point. What did the calculator say to the other calculator? You can count on me. <laughs> These turned out so cute! I can't wait to do my homework. Thanks for all your help, Vanessa. If you're up for it, I have a challenge for you. Can you share a few back-to-school tips with our audience? No problem. As a rap song? You got a camera? Ready when you are. If you want to make the grade, do your homework on time. Head to bed early, check the tips in this rhyme. Organize your supplies for some peace of mind. Get into the habit and you'll do just fine. Fridays can become your clean it routine. Recycle all the papers that you don't need. Find a study space, a distraction-free zone. Remember, you don't have to do this alone. Pay attention in class and ask plenty of questions. Try to be patient. Here's the last thing I'll mention. Treat everyone kindly. That's how we'll keep it cool when you're getting ready to go back to school. That was amazing! Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you're looking to have the ultimate creative fun, the Glam Fam knows how. See ya! Okay, we have 30 minutes. 30 minutes until we start filming! Hi, everyone. Welcome to Courtney's Corner. Today is a very special day because we are recording my stepsister Tina's dance audition video. She asked me to help, so I thought it'd be super awesome to show you how to make a dance video too. Kip, how's it looking? Is the camera ready? Almost there. I just need to hang the backdrop. Can you help me? Of course! Step one, make sure you have an awesome backdrop for your video. You can use a painted wall, a blanket and put some fun stickers on it, or get a piece of fabric that already has a cool design. Be sure to ask a grown-up to help hang it. All set. Let me check how it looks on camera. Looks great to me, but I better consult the director first. That's a thumbs up from Parsley. I'll let you two finish and go check on our star. How are you feeling today, Rockstar? Mmm, thanks. Oh, I am so excited. And a little nervous, but I think I got it. Great! You're going to win the Orange Valley Dance Competition! Thanks. I hope so. Step two, make sure you have a totally tubular dance routine like Tina. And practice, practice, practice. Yikes, bikes! I need to get you to Sarah in wardrobe. Step three is all about creating your own style. Make sure you feel amazing by wearing something you love. You can even make your own accessories. Sparkles never hurt. 
So, what do you think? So cool! I love it! Do you want to wear a scrunchie or a bow? Uh, the scrunchie. No, the bow. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm starting to get nervous. I'm having trouble deciding. Step four. If you get stuck, ask for help. Here's how we can decide. Pick a number. Three. Scrunchy it is! Okay, Tina. Time to get dressed and onto the set. Uh, wait. You two need to get ready. We, we do? do? You're my backup dancers. We are? Ugh. I forgot to ask you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet on set. Okay, Tina's Orange Valley Dance Competition video submission, take one. Bright lights in the beat of the drums, we're gonna let it loose till the morning comes. And now we feel the heat as we're moving our feet. We're gonna dance the night away. Just two hearts tonight, sharing the spotlight. Just two hearts always. We're gonna dance the night away. And cut. That's a wrap. Far out. Thanks a million. Step five. Remember to just have fun. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned some cool tips to make your own dance video. Let's wish Tina good luck in the competition. And be sure to come back here for more fun. Till then, we are out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
I have an idea. We should do a health challenge together. We can stick to a healthy routine for the next 30 days, like eating more vegetables, going to bed early, and getting a little bit of exercise in every day. More cool dance workouts? I'm in. I'm also pretty hungry from that routine. Same. Let's get smoothies. Sounds rad. Thanks again for joining us. Come back next week for more fun and to see how we're keeping up with our challenge. Till then, Parsley, Tina, and I are out of here. <laughs> <laughs>